Oh, wait. This is new, though. What's this? Karma? Is this? Oh, my God. Wait. Is this that one guy? Remember this TikTok creep is basically lost everything. Is that? um That face is familiar. I can't. Oh, it's bent. Isn't it Bentelect? The one TikToker that was like really. It was a creep. I think Penguin Z0 or Penguin Zero, whatever. Moist Critical did a video on it as well. Okay, this is cool. Let's check this out. Remember this TikTok creep? He's basically lost everything. All right, let's see what let's see what we got here. Let me full screen this. Bentelect is still posting videos. I knew it. What did I say? I said it. Bentelect. I knew it. I remember. What an awesome memory I have. Okay, let's go. <laughs> but ever since his expose, he's lost all support on basically every platform. TikTok was where he started, and you might yeah. describe his style as laughing at the most basic memes he stole from Reddit. The Dude, yes. Okay, I remember now. It's all coming back to me. So this guy is like... He, I, I think he just saw like how many followers. What? How many followers did he have? Basically every platform. Um, yeah, dude, eleven point one million followers, dude. Okay, so I remember now. Uh, yeah, you saw this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this guy was like, all he does is like, and I saw him on YouTube Shorts actually, not TikTok, but all he does is like, he reacts to like Shorts and he just said, uh, oh, <laughs> like that's the entire content. If I'm not mistaken, I think uh, my memory serves me right. And he gets 11.1 million followers. How do I, how do I not even have a thousand subscribers yet? And this guy does literally nothing. My friend told me about this stale ass commentary. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's watch it. And you might describe his style as laughing at the most basic memes he stole from Reddit. Exactly. The format was extremely consistent. He'd put himself at the <clears throat> bottom and the meme at the top, yep. then just read exactly what it said. But whilst reading the final word, he'd always force the fakest laugh. That's what as I if was the saying. the sentence was just too funny to finish. I once dated this girl who spoke so much about her ex that even I end up missing the dude. <laughs> this is the only call I want. Healthy relations. I must be blocked from it or something. <laughs> I don't know what this dog is going through, but I can relate to the core. <laughs> the con Guys, imagine. Imagine me going like this. Ah, the Elden Ring DLC is so hard. I'm going to complain. <laughs> There's my content. One million views. <laughs> the hell did I just watch? Yeah. Don't ever do that. Yeah, I know, right? It's like me if I did. Dude, it's 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 insane. Anyway. One healthy <laughs> This dog is going through, but I can relate to the core. <laughs> the content was repetitive and completely devoid of effort. Exactly. Initially catching the attention of Nick is not green, who was the first well, to slam Bentelect in the video shown on screen. You're reading something that somebody else wrote, and then you just laugh at it. That's that's it. That's the whole thing. Within months, this yeah, was pretty echoed much. by multiple YouTubers. Bentelect, you suck. Uh -oh. I don't like the types of videos you're making. You know you're not enjoying it. While even Billie Eilish roasted Bentelect, what? His incredibly fake laugh. <laughs> Facts. Dude, that's it... amazing. That's amazing. I didn't know Billy Eilish did that. That's actually awesome. I can't remember. Oh, worse than this. It's Sniper Wolf. Sniper Wolf is the girl you're thinking of. Um, what the hell did I just watch? Don't ever do this. Yep. I will pay you not to do this. Yeah. <laughs> pay me not to do this. <laughs> He kind of looks like an old friend of mine. Oh, really? That's interesting. <laughs> It didn't seem like Bentelect was doing anything wrong, and by watching his videos, he seemed like a friendly guy. Okay, technically, okay, I know I just bashed him a bunch and everybody bashed him, but technically he's not, he is not doing anything wrong. Because I could do that too, and no, I mean, it's not breaking any, like, laws or rules or anything. Technically, I don't know if it, like, I don't know if TikTok and YouTube is a little bit different with their, like, fair use or whatever. But I'm pretty sure like YouTube, if you make the content, what is it called when you, it's not making it original. It's like, I forget, I, I can't think of the word, but there's a word for it where you, um, basically you, you make it, or it, ah, God, what is that word? You make it original. Um, I can't remember it, but basically if you make it like original and you add to, oh, you add to it, you add the creative aspect to it, then it's not 
uh, and then it's fair use basically. So he's like barely, he's probably barely on that thin uh, line of fair use and not f fair use. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> so awesome to be able to make people laugh just by sharing the tweets and memes that I think are funny and like bringing them to life in a way. And he definitely felt genuine when talking about his fans. One of my favorite things about social media is that I have people that I can communicate with, engage with. I kind of pride myself on being one of the creators who actually responds to DMs, takes feedback from fans. Ben believed he was being attacked Did he because really? of the following reason. <laughs> you're just an easy target because you're almost obnoxiously like happy. And that's like how I am in general. Although it'd be through another Nick is not green video uh, that Ben Telek's false kindness began to get exposed. Nick revealed that Ben had mm. copyright struck the previous video he'd made on him not just copyright claim but copyright strike my video and get it taken down because i was making fun of him he even wrote the whole entire email out with the email reading oh what a dick move dude what a what a what a freaking ballsy move dude he basically like he's on that thin line of like not adding anything anything to the video he's reacting to and then he copy he has the balls to copyright strike this guy <laughs> like wow I've never actually used TikTok. Should I download it? I mean, you can if you want. It's not terrible, but I only use it to promote the uh, Dark Souls shorts, like it to bring people from TikTok to Twitch and YouTube, basically. Yeah, he's abusing the system. Again, there's so many people to do this, and YouTube's system is actually pretty easy to abuse, which is sad. All right this video should be removed and wanted to be looked into further. A large part of the video is content that I created, including videos from the video sharing app Cameo and screen recordings of my social media accounts. About half the content in this video is my work, which you could only describe as laughable. Yeah, he basically complained that I was stealing his content and would link videos of him just stealing other people's content. He's literally he doing the same thing. Even Bentelec's tweets were stolen. He doesn't just use other people's content to make his own but he straight up steals it and reposts it on twitter when i say the other day it can be any time between yesterday and my birth that's a shameless one sheesh ben select come on man as well as yeah, the man. concepts for his less frequent comedy skits which were stolen in their entirety from other already popular tiktoks no dude what wait ben what Oh, he's, he actually, wait, what is he? Hold on, I didn't catch that. Select, come on, man. As well as the concepts for his less frequent comedy skits, which were stolen in their entirety. What your mom thinks guests will do when they visit, okay? How my mom thinks guests act when they come over. Oh, this was posted 2029-23, and this was posted on 10-27. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, that is actually ridiculous. Look, this girl got 40 oh 50 000 hearts likes and tiktok and this guy who basically blatantly copied her content just got 3.9 million hearts dude <laughs> yeah dude this is ridiculous like okay so <laughs> which is funny i'm actually i'm doing a reaction video currently right now but I, i'm like pausing it and you know commenting about it which is fair use but this guy is like, this guy is like on the line, dude. Like, especially with his like TikToks that are just like, ah, uh, like he doesn't even say anything. Like, how can you call that creative to create it, creative, uh, you know, creative addition or whatever? It's ridiculous from other already popular TikToks. Noah Samson then posted this video in which you'd find that Ben had admitted to stealing content. Ah. I actually just did a spoof on another guy who had that idea. While debunking Ben's claim about crediting the original person. Ben Tellect explains that he did base the sketch off of someone else's work, but he insisted that he tagged that person. But after doing a bit of digging, it turns out that was a lie. So as you can tell by the description, no one is tagged. Ben Tellect was mm, rapidly that's, losing favor. Okay, dude. Dude, that's one thing. If you look at my videos that I post on um, when I when I do a stream like this and then I cut it into videos and I post it onto YouTube, if you go to the description, I make sure to very like blatantly not blatant. What am I trying to say? I make sure to credit the source. Like I'll say original video by original video by and I add them at this creator. So it links to their page colon and then there's a link to the original video. So I, I make sure to credit it and give them a bunch of credit in the video as well. Um, 
And this guy didn't, what did he, he said he didn't even like hashtag it or whatever. That he tagged that person. But after doing a bit of digging, it turns Tag out it. that was a lie. So as you can tell by the description, no one is tagged. Dude. What the, f what the fuck? Like he did not credit anything. That's ridiculous. That's really not cool, man. Especially like imagine if you put like a lot of work into a video and you're a small creator and this guy reacts to it Who's a way bigger creator and then he doesn't even credit you. So the people that watch his video Don't know where to go to see the original video That is a shit move dude Anyone with a working brain can see you're doing it the right way <laughs> You're adding your takes and pausing for your use while he's blatantly stealing content. Yeah, I know and then like uh, people get mad at me for like stop pausing the video <laughs> I'm like dude if i don't if i don't pause the video and i just let it run and sit here then the, there's no like creativity involved which is it's called create it's not really creativity it's like a addition ad uh, adding to the content basically um i like xqc but he's he kind of does that thing where he just like sits for like 30 minutes and doesn't even say anything <laughs> i've seen him do, do that before Bentelect was rapidly losing favor, resulting in quite possibly TikTok's strangest meme ever. Oh. People began stitching Bentelect's videos with weird scary images and a generated creepy voice. Things that don't exist anymore. The only thing that doesn't exist anymore will be you Benny boy after we suck your soul from your body. The meme pro What the fuck did I just watch? You call that creative addition? Isn't XQC like the guy who sits in the chair like L? Yeah, yeah, it's the that's the guy you're thinking of, and has like the schizophrenic attack and stutters. Uh, I don't know what that I don't know about that, but he he basically talks like he talks like really fast. He talks like this. You better well, it's a chat chat. It was a chat. He talks like that, so you barely know what he's saying. <laughs> um. Yeah. Anyway progressed into many different formats with one of its contributors John Castelline using it to I don't know show this guy. more of Ben Telec's hidden anger. John simply joked that Ben was probably scared of the memes. This dude goes to bed with the slightest thought in the back of his head that someone is actually gonna take things a little seriously. I'm on my way to your house. Which led Ben Telec to reply. I know that guy. Wait, I do know that guy. Things a little seriously. I've seen this guy, but he, I think his content is actually okay. Um, or wait, am I thinking of, I, he looks like another guy. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm on my way to your house. Which led Ben Telec to reply. You kind of look like Woody from Toy Story. <laughs> and lastly, dude just sits in his room telling stories in his bed. And while it didn't seem like Ben oh, was the same guy. angry, John then revealed this. If this guy was actually mad, did he at least reach out to me and, and, and say something to me? So I go on Instagram and find out that he called me about 17 times. Ben was making it obvious what? that he was- What? 17 times you call him 17 times what the fuck you have zero clue who most of these people are well i mean if you don't watch like shorts short form content you i wouldn't expect you to know who they are because they they're only doing short form content dude 17 missed calls what the f what the actual fuck 17 times i don't think i've ever called a person 17 times in my entire life i don't like talking to people <laughs> if you call me i will i will be upset <laughs> I don't like when people call me. <laughs> I don't like I like avoiding uh human interaction. <laughs> he, how much you want to bet he's trying to talk to him to stop? Yeah, yeah, probably. Hold on, let me back it up a bit. Find out actually mad did he at least reach out to me and, and and say something to me? So I go on Instagram and find out that he called me about 17 times. Ben was making it obvious that he was completely different off camera, <laughs> with the best example discovered by fans of the H3 podcast. Ethan and Ayla had previously mm -hmm. roasted Ben Telect. Yeah, I mean it's super unfunny. Ethan's involved. He laughs at everything and he goes fast. Wow, that's painful. Leading Ben to take a shot at Ayla in a oh, video God. titled Top Five People Who Hate. Uh oh, here we Number go. Number one, Hila Klein. She looks like she hasn't smiled in years, so I'm not surprised. Dude. <laughs> fans began to question why be mean to Hila? Why insult her appearance? It felt so unnecessary and weird, with the top comment predicting he might have a hidden disdain for women. People saying that about her never smiling or whatever, it's sexism. It's misogyny plain and simple. So when these misogynistic men decide to attack Hila, that's one of their points. Bentelect had eerily stated, <laughs> We all have secrets, right? Like, 
up. That's just the way it is. Without realizing his were about to get exposed. It is. Without real so, realizing his were about to get exposed. Is this the thing? Is this? Let me let me make let me take a guess here. Because Penguin Zero did a video on it. Moist Critical. Charlie did a video about it and was like, it was about something about OnlyFans, right? Okay, here we go. Let's check it out. On the 30th of July 2023, Ben and a model named Jordan Max had arranged to make a podcast in which they tasted pickles. However, just three hours before we were supposed to record, Ben Telek texted Jordan requesting to film and- I knew it. It's OnlyFans. I'm a genius. I knew it. <laughs> Three hours before we were supposed to record, Ben Telek texted Jordan requesting to film an extra bit of content. Do you want to make a video for OnlyFans? When she responded, today, okay. no. You need a TTS test from within the last 14 days and an OnlyFans what is a TTS, account. TTS ben Telek then test. clarified, I mean a video for your page. Doing what? I don't know, what performs the best on your page? I was just thinking you're helping me with doing a video for my YouTube, so maybe I could help with your OnlyFans. I'm good, thanks. Thanks though. No worries. Hey, gonna do the pickle video with someone else. Thanks though. Okay, any particular reason why? To be honest, I thought it would just be fun to film and see where things go, but I got it. Ben was basically saying his goal was simply to get freaky, although in the beginning, no one seemed to care. The tweet confirming mm -hmm. it was Ben had just a couple hundred likes until a full 10 days later mm -hmm. when Ben shot himself in the foot by sending another message. You need what? to take this tweet down or I will sue you. Jordan did that just came out of no what what the hell happened in 10 days for him to say you need to take this tweet down or i will sue you it went from a only fans discussion about and then a pickle eating video or whatever to freaking 10 not even two weeks later it went to that from that to a to a lawsuit i think someone has a complex yeah <laughs> delete her tweet and within hours had instead written a new one. So it turns out that I'm not the only one Bentelect has tried this with. Another woman who wishes to stay anonymous DM'd me with screenshots from conversations that she had with him as well. Do you want to come over here and spend some time with me? Because on a side note, I do think I could probably make her some money on OnlyFans. Bentelect blanks crazy blank into oblivion. If you come over, I'll give you a thousand dollars. I just really want you. Guys, what the fuck? OnlyFans is like a, a premium, it's a subscriber based website where you can have uh, naughty pictures of yourself, uh, people subscribe to see them. I'm actually surprised you didn't know what it was because it's pretty popular. Yeah, yeah, you should. Yeah, it was best not to look it up. <laughs> Okay. It's not the it's not that. It's not that. It's it's more it's kinda it's a little bit different. It's hard to explain for me. I mean I, I'm like a smooth brain idiot, so it's hard to explain, but <laughs> so anyway, dude, this is Snapchat by the way. I don't know if you know Snapchat, but Snapchat is a thing where you like a uh, take a picture or send a message and it's supposed to disappear. Well this fucking idiot thinks it was gonna do that, but this come on. Your privacy is never assured, never assured with these types of social media websites. Never. Okay. You know what that is. Okay. okay. <laughs> Just making sure. Um, yeah. I'm good right now. Don't try to bribe me with money. That's weird. No, that is weird. But I want to see you. Ben then followed this up with That's some weird. messages via text. And when eventually rejected, he was totally <clears throat> disrespectful. One day later, Jordan tweeted again. We got another DM from another anonymous woman, which read, OMG, I've dealt with Ben Telek too. Actually, he's bothered a lot of women. What I don't have any screenshots from our three-day hangout. But he told me he loved me and asked me to move in right away. I started pushing back that I it was too much and he flipped out on me it was days after i was cheated on and he was like i don't want to talk about your feelings i want to talk about us he also drank two 1.75 liquor bottles of mine in a day he's an what what <laughs> what that is a lot of liquor dude i don't think i've ever drank that much liquor in my life i mean i don't even like liquor i would drink a beer bro 
Beer is where it's at. Is this man in prison? No, he's not. I don't think he is, no. Because, yeah, he sounds like a crazy cult leader. Yeah. <laughs> that's about the average uh, that's a lot <clears throat> i guess for me i i don't i'm not really a big drinker but i'm i'm really strong with alcohol but i'm not like i don't like drinking alcohol really so it seems Alcoholica like a lot to me Alcoholica needs to seek help immediately ironically ben had claimed in the past there wasn't much his audience didn't know about him i usually put a lot out there on social media so i don't think there's a whole lot people don't know which might explain why he initially this is it just me or does this guy like does okay, this guy's like media. does this guy's smile just kind of creep you out or what or is it just me like the way he talks he's like you know that it's the uh, i just love make yeah uh, uh, making content you know he's got that fake smile he smiles with his teeth not his eyes a real smile a genuine smile is smile with your eyes not with your teeth okay does his audience know he's insane no dude probably his audience is like just as insane as him <laughs> Media, so I don't think there's a whole lot of people don't know which might explain why he initially it looks like an AI moving image <laughs> I've recently been accused of some heinous allegations actions and would like the opportunity to share my disgust right. at these accusations let's see what we got I'm a firm believer in the rights and equality of all humans including women I grew up in a home with three sisters and no brothers so I learned very early of the importance power love and abilities women have they deserve to be cherished and uplifted and treated with respect and that's how I live my life Okay. The evidence, however, only kept on coming from more and more people. Shut up and quit wasting people's time, you stupid. Wait, what did that say? On coming from more and more people. Is this wait? Which one is Ben? Is it the black one or the blue? The blue one. I think it's the black one. Yeah, yeah, it's the black black one. Yep. Yeah. No wait. Yeah, it is the black one. Okay. Facts, no hard feelings, but you yeah. Huh. What the? Then shut the fuck up and quit wasting people's time, you stupid. He probably said bitch there. What the fuck? Holy hell, that's a lie. Yeah, yeah. Quit wasting people's time, you stupid blank. If I recall, I told you I didn't want anything to do with you. Just shut up and go to bed. Jesus. Sounds like you need some anger management help. Right? Be careful who you say that to, Maria, because there are people who really need help with that. Like Super yourself. Super disrespectful <laughs> to say that to somebody. And also a very basic thing to say. There's a reason oh my God, he just keeps going on. Many years, and it's because no one wants you and no one gives a crap about you because you aren't anything. You're not fun, you're boring as so shut up and get out of here basic ass boring loser jesus christ q a history had suddenly aged like milk petty things drive me crazy i'm a very upfront person i don't like petty i don't like grudges i don't like things like that i just don't do those things so when they come my way it's kind of like does not compute like i don't really know how to deal with it although this one yeah he doesn't stop talking it's like that one guy that it's like that guy in the chat room that's like he doesn't write a paragraph of text he breaks the paragraph up into like individual lines <laughs> was even worse if a guy is too nice to a girl that she's gonna probably friend zone him my thing is it's 60 40 60 percent of the time nice guy 40 percent of the time you gotta be who you are you can't be just like you know giving it all being a total sip and all that stuff after three more women came forward ben gave in and apologized there's a lot being said about me on the internet right now and i just wanted to clear the air i want to say to any girl who i've been rude to whether through text or in person that i'm sorry I understand that me being sorry does not excuse that kind of behavior. I will continue to work on myself and do better. With comments disabled and a caption reading on- Okay, dude. I was just about to say that the apology wasn't- honestly wasn't that bad until I saw that he disabled comments. <laughs> it wasn't even that bad. I will continue to work I mean, let's on that watch it again. Hold on. Weather. And I just and apologized. There's a lot being said about me on the internet right now, and I just wanted to clear the air. 
Okay, first of all, let's correct it. Let's let's proofread the, the apology video. First of all, get rid of that sentence entirely, that first one. You don't need to say that there's been a lot of things said about me because now you're playing the, the blame game and you're playing this the victim here. I want to say to any girl who I've been rude to, whether through text or in person, that I'm sorry. I okay, that part's fine. Understand that me being sorry does not excuse that kind of behavior. I will continue to That's work okay. on myself and do better. With com That's okay too. But like the he needs to get rid of the first part and he needs to not disable comments. What the fuck? Comments disabled and a caption reading onward. onward. It seemed Ben was trying to return to normal. Although judging by comments, <laughs> it's a legitimate reason to hate him. The internet wasn't ready to let this happen. Damn. When you invite an only the internet never forgives a non-existent podcast, but then they say they don't want to hook up with your creepy, desperate 34-year-old self. He's 34. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. True. YouTube has covered the drama in Bentelec's classic style. I knew Bentelec was trash the first time his video has appeared on my FYP and I blocked him, so there's no surprise. <laughs> While his notable quotes were Wait changed, a second, is he is he the making the reaction content? <laughs> yeah. Bro, what a ballsy move. He's making reaction content about people saying how bad he is. <laughs> YouTube has covered the drama in Bentelec's classic style. I knew Bentelec was trash the first time. His oh wait, no, I got I got played there. I got, I didn't listen. I got played. <laughs> it's just a it's a it's a it's a voiceover. Appeared on my FYP and I blocked him, so there's no surprise. <laughs> While his <notable laughs> that is funny were though. Changed to subtly include "You're killing me, gorgeous." Penguin Zero's video gained over <clears throat> 10 million. That's it. That's the one. That's the one I watched. T uh, like 10 months ago. Huge loser. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> the way he titles videos is hilarious. The only reason I know what it's about is by looking at the thumbnail. But yeah, I remember watching this video. In views, while Nick is not green, was also given the last laugh. I don't Nick know that YouTuber. Put his Twitter on private as his TikTok growth completely Ooh. vanished. His YouTube statistics followed a similar pattern, and as of more recently, so did every other method he used to make money. Bentelec's merch site has now been totally wiped, while the website linked to see his secret merch is also now disabled. Bentelec's cameo wow. has just 28 reviews, the last of which being from before he was even exposed. Uh. Ben doesn't seem to do any sponsorships and his YouTube isn't exactly popping, making you wonder why he's even still uploading. Well, Ben has recently resorted to just blatantly reposting his old most popular oh, TikToks. Oh, that's a and with a That's a low blow move, dude. Reposting content? Did you know that I don't know about TikTok. I don't know how TikTok works, but in YouTube, you you can get your channel terminated for reposting the same content. You can actually get your channel terminated for that. I don't know how TikTok works though. Maybe it's okay on TikTok. But even if it's okay on TikTok, it's a dick move. Short from a couple of days ago reading, this channel is now for random content. It seems as though Bentelect has basically lost everything. Wow. Okay. Wow, guys. That was remembering this TikTok. Remember this TikTok creep? He's basically lost everything by Sunny V2. That was a really good video. Awesome. Sunny V2 is always great. I love his videos. Go subscribe and like the video. I'm going to like the video. Um, I'm already subscribed. Um, let's like the video and subscribe. He's, it's awesome. should check Sunny V2. I'll put that in the description too when I cut it up for YouTube. But anyway, dude, let's talk about Bentelec for a second. He's a fucking creep, <laughs> as, the, as the title suggests. And like the content, dude, that's like, I, I'm actually kind of tired of like the recent TikTok rot brain kind of content, dude. I'm tired. Of, I I know I post like, I post short videos too. I post short videos, but they're of they're like my Dark Soul stuff. But I, at least I'm not like reposting this same content, and I'm also like it's me playing the game. It's actual content, not like this guy who's like, who's like taking a meme and just like, what? <laughs> end of video. End of ten second video. He should genuinely rethink his life. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Don't ever, guys, don't let me become like Bentelect, okay? Don't ever let me be, don't ever let me get that way. Keep it real on the Augie G channel, bros. Um, all right, so that was that. Wow, that was great. That was a great video. Yeah, you guys should uh, check out Sunny, subscribe, like, everything, do all that shit.